Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a, a less controversial story than what I've been doing in the last two days. Uh, extinct bird re itself back into existence. Now, I didn't even think this was possible, so uh, let's see, we have, see what this has to, see what this is about. Okay, once the bird became extinct, it only took, it took only 20,000 years before it returned and evolved into a flightless bird again. Okay, a once extinct bird species re-evolved itself into existence and returned to the island it co once colonized thousands of years ago, researchers, researchers say. So, that's kind of interesting. I didn't know that birds could re-evolve into themselves. That doesn't... How does that work exactly? And it, it took... And I said up here it took 20,000 years? That's kind of a short time in terms of, uh, you know, evolving and stuff. Uh, the Aldebra, I think is how I pronounce it, uh, rail, named after the, after the Aldebra Adel, I think is how you pronounce that, um, it inhabited the Seychelles is the last surviving native flightless bird in the Indian Ocean region. It is a descendant of the flying white-throated rail that is believed to have lost its ability to fly because of lack of predators made it unnecessary. So that's interesting, actually. Uh, that sounds like a nice place. I mean, if there's no predators and just a bunch of birds walking around. It doesn't sound like a bad place to live. I mean, sure, the neighborhood's probably fine and everything, but I mean, I mean, who knows? It sounds like a nice place to live. Fossils of the Aldebra rail have been discovered dating back 136,000 years, but the island has been has since been submerged by the ocean, wiping out all, almost all life. Well, if it's underwater, I would expect that, because last time I checked, uh, animals that breathe air don't do very well when they're underwater. Uh, a Deborah went under the sea, and everything was gone. That makes sense. Uh, Julian Hem, uh, a uh, paleontologist, I believe, the, and author of the, of the study, said in a, a press release from the Natural History Museum of, in London, Quote, there was an almost complete turnover in the fauna. Uh, everything went extinct. Yet, as the Aldebra rail still lives on today, something must have happened uh, for it to have returned. Well, that's kind of, uh, yeah, something definitely must have happened because usually extinct animals don't just come back. Like, I haven't seen any T-Rexes walking around lately and those things are gone, hopefully. So, I'm pretty sure this is a pretty rare thing. <clears throat> uh, the researchers published the Zoological Journal of the Linnae... I don't know how to pronounce that. Linnae? Linnae? Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce that. Society revealed that the white-throated rail recognized, uh, recolonized the island. The researchers believe that after this, uh, the seed levels dropped and the bird reappeared, it became flightless once again. Newer fossils showed the Aldebra rail has uh, was heavier than its ancestor, including that the bird has lost all its ability to fly for a second time. Once the bird became extinct after the flood, it only took 20,000 years for the white-throated rail to return and evolved into a the flightless Aldebra rail bird again. So... That's kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't really know, like I was saying, I didn't know that birds could, or any animal, uh, could, you know, could do that. Could re-evolve into themselves. I guess that's, maybe it's something where one bird on another island is almost exactly like another bird on another island, and the conditions are, become the same as the first island on the second island. Hopefully you guys are getting this, but it's kind of complicated. But I guess that's possible. I mean, I don't know, I'm not much of a, I'm not a zoologist, and I don't know much about this, so I, uh, I, this, I guess this is, um, pretty interesting. Uh, according to the museum, this is the only, uh, this is the, one of the fastest recorded timelines of a bird losing its ability to fly, and the first and only known time that a species of bird has become flightless twice. Well, I guess these birds are just really wanting to stay on the ground. I mean, I guess there's nothing up in the air for them, so... I mean, if you want to stay on the ground, that's up to you, man. I'm, I'm not going to judge. It's 2019. I'm legally not allowed to judge you. Okay, quote, There is no other case that I can find of this happening. 
where you have a, rec uh, a record of the same species of bird becoming flightless twice. Uh, end quote. Whom? Whom said uh, in the release? It quote. It wasn't. It wasn't as. Ugh, it wasn't as if there were. It. Uh, I can't read. If it, it wasn't as if it were two different species colonizing and becoming flightless. It was uh, the same ancestral bird. Well, that was painful for me to read, but that's also very interesting. Now, I know this is a shorter video, but uh, I'm working on other videos on my sports channel. Link to those are in the description. Go check out my sports channel. Also, go check out my Discord, and thank you everyone who has subscribed recently. I definitely appreciate all the new subscribers. We've went from, uh, I think, like 75 to 79 in the matter of a week. Now, that's pretty good for a small channel like mine, and I do appreciate all the support. Of course, let me know in the comments section if you got any stories that you want me to cover. Anyone else? Any stories at all? I'll take a look at it, and I'll decide whether it's, a, it's worthy or whether it's worth my time making a video over. So, thank you everyone for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comments section what you want me to see next. Comment anything you want. Just please be respectful of everyone else commenting. Let's not get any... Um, I don't want to see any uh, any people, you know, yelling at people in the comments section. Let's try to keep it nice, all right? So, if you don't know, I am getting a Twitter at 100 subscribers. So definitely subscribe if you want to see that. Also, uh, I got a, I have a Twitch channel, so go check that out. I plan to be doing some gaming stuff on there in the future. I don't know when though. So yeah, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think about this story, and I will see you guys tomorrow.